Well, we are hoping to learn more today about the question many have been asking for centuries. Are we alone in the universe? Minutes from now, the head of the Pentagon's UFO office will be holding an on-the-record roundtable. Senior National Correspondent Brian Enton joins us now live. Brian, this is a story you've been following closely. It is, yeah, and this is this is a big moment. Again, it starts in just a couple of minutes. You know, it's been hard to get official information from the government ever since we started covering this UFO topic, and, and this is a rare opportunity to talk on the record uh, with the head of the government's UFO investigation program. Uh, that, again, meeting, that roundtable discussion that's going to start in, in just about five minutes or so. Uh, Dr. Sean Kirkpatrick, that's his name. He's the head of the Pentagon's All-Domain Anomaly Resolution Office. It's better known as AERO. Uh, they're the people who investigate unexplained sightings in the sky. Uh, you'll remember whistleblower and Intel official David Grush, you see him there, came forward earlier this year, alleging that the U.S. has a UFO crash retrieval program and actually has alien craft in its possession. Uh, Dr. Kirkpatrick said in a statement uh, back then that there was no credible evidence to support that, even called uh, the congressional UFO hearings insulting. But beyond that, uh, reporters have really never had a chance to ask him questions or for more details or about what exactly they know, which is why this discussion coming up uh, is going to be so interesting. We also know that they're going to talk about a new program that they're unveiling where people can actually go to this Pentagon website and submit photos when they see uh, unidentified flying objects. Again, it's set to start here uh, in just about 30 seconds. Uh, so we'll let you know how it all plays out. Kelly? All right. We know you will, Brian. Thank you, as always. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.